Whoa, whoa, what do we got here, Bake? One last chance, last stop. This is the gateway to the Keys, my friends. This is Alfred Montaner, and we're gonna go to the Keys, and I'm gonna show you everywhere you wanna go. Stay tuned, because if you don't get gas here, you're done. Well, sorry you guys had to deal with that uh, intro. But my name is Alfred Montaner, and uh, we are going to go to the Keys, people. And for many of you that are not from South Florida, you're like, why is this kind of important? So this is Last Stop Bait and Tackle, and it's a, an extremely popular place to get bait. And now you also have a racetrack, and uh, here is US-1. If you see here, this is the gateway to the Keys, guys. So this is the last stop. This is the last place that you can actually go before you get uh, gas for the next maybe 20 something, 30 miles. And we're gonna head that way and we'll go ahead and show you guys the Keys shown to you by a local, all right? So, I kind of showed things that I'll stop along the way, but I also want to get footage of some cool boats at a strategic uh, spot that I want to go ahead and place myself. But I said, you know what? All my regulars, bro, you local people, skip the first part. You're not going to be interested in none of this. But people that are not from here are going to be like, yo, I want to do that. So stay tuned. This is that what that video is going to be about. Let's do this. All right. So let's get out of here because this is the last stop. So like at this point, like I said, you want to have gasolina. And right now, this actually has been here a couple years. It wasn't there before. There's a nice little bar behind there that's always been uh, there. Now, here's a very important uh, thing for you guys to know. Card Sound is another entrance that's longer to go to the Keys, okay? Right now, we're on US-1, but if we make a left right here where these cars are going, it's longer, and there's a very cool place to have lunch. It's called Alabama Jacks. Um, that card sound used to be like a, an alternate road because this was a one-way road and what happened is people would go ahead and you know pass and and there'll be catastrophic accidents here on this area eventually they put these two uh, lanes and a divider and it stopped considerably so you would have to take card sound whenever they would have to get a helicopter on here guys many many people died on this road so let's go ahead and we're going to take a first stop at gilbert's uh, which is a, a local restaurant slash hotel. You'll see that now, and uh, we'll talk about that when we get there. And there's the sign, Gilbert's. So we're gonna go to Gilbert's, guys. What's going on here? Why is this guy parked on the side of the road? They basically just said full to capacity, which my intention wasn't to go ahead and hang out here, but most people won't know this if you don't know. All right, so this is Gilbert's and uh, like, like the cop just basically said, well, you know, go forward and make a U-turn. I told him, listen, I'm gonna be filming a little bit. So that's all I'm gonna do. So let me find some parking and uh, let's, let's show you Gilbert's. All right, guys, so this is it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a couple shots of some of the boats coming in and out of this little channel, but this is the world famous Gilbert's guys I'm not gonna go over there. there's a lot of people we're still during the, during the Ronin and all that stuff but check it out uh, maybe we can do a, an in-depth video of this place at some point if you want to see what it looks like kind of in there go to my powerboat uh, video I'll link it up here or on the end of the video so let's go to the rest of the keys let's check out these boats I really want to check out some of these boats that's what I really want to see people are just coming in out so here essentially when they're going this way here they're going towards Miami. And when they're coming, oh my God, wait a second, guys. Look at this monster. Look at this monster coming in here. Deep impact. So he's probably coming from Miami. Now they'll probably come from here and hang out at Gilbert's, or maybe they just want to cross through and they'll just go to, through the inside of the Keys. So every, to the left, is basically the Atlantic Ocean. And 
it's still within Biscayne Bay per se a little it's getting a little bit north but look at this nice deep impact passing through trips monster boats guys monsters to say the least got some people in the background fishing there's gonna be a lot of boat traffic that comes in and out of here today And just when you thought you were alone, don't forget, there's a crocodile crossing, baby. That is crazy. A lot of jet skis coming in and out of here. It's nice to see people flying their flag, our flag. Yeah, look at this safe boat. Department of Homeland Security coming in and out. Um, guys, I did an incredible walkthrough at the Safe Boats ba uh, Factory in uh, Bremerton, Washington. And you want to see how those boats are built? Um, check out some of my videos on Safe Boats. It's, that thing is literally a missile in the water, dude. A missile. Homeland Security over here patrolling our waters. We also have the U.S. Coast Guard patrolling our waters. We'll see them probably a little later as well. Let's see if these guys launch. They can resume normal operation now once, once they pass that sign, but let's see if they open it up. That thing is a beast. When you see that up, up close and personal, you see the technology and the way those are built, it's impressive, guys. Let's see if he opens it up now. That guy will get to Miami from here in, uh, in no time. It's probably giving everybody a chance to leave and then he'll catch up. It was fun. You think people should come out here to hang out? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah? Were people taking precautions with masks and all that stuff? Yes. Good. We're so full that we gotta take it off because we can't breathe. <laughs> all right, guys. Enjoy your day. <laughs> All right, guys, some ladies here coming out of Gilbert's. They said they're stuffed. They're like, we got to take off our mask. I cannot breathe. Look at this guy. This guy's coming in. Kind of hot. Okay, so here's what I quickly did. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit of footage here. This is the opposite side of where I was filming from. Now, you are seeing the other angle now. That's Gilbert's in the backdrop, and that's where the boats are going to the Keys. They're still there in, in, inside on the intercoastal side. And then, wow, that is a nice, that is a nice boat. What is that? Is that a Pardo? I, I, guys, I missed it. I missed it. Let me see if I can, I can zoom in on her before we figure she leaves. I got to get on. I got to get on one of those. If it's a Pardo, I, I couldn't tell, guys. Eight. Hey, uh, comment below. I missed it, guys. I missed it. I don't want to butcher the, the boat either. So, this is the Keys life to the fullest. So, we're going to film a little bit here at Anchorage. Uh, they were so kind to let me go ahead and uh, film here for a minute. I, I told them what I was doing. And uh, they also said that their hotel rates are between 195 and 245 currently here. They said they're not having a problem filling up the hotel rooms so that's good to see and obviously they're taking extra precautions because of the the, the coronavirus
All right, that was kind of cool, guys. I really want to thank the people here at the Anchorage Resort and Yacht Club. Like I said, uh, super location. If you just want to go ahead and lounge and have access to the water, if, especially if you're on a boat. All right, so we're going to head up. Let's keep on driving, guys. If not, trust me, we can have so much fun in all these places. But I want to show you guys all the places so you guys can see what us locals do. Oh, my God, I see a red bull, guys. Never mind. Oh, no, 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 I thought it was a red bull. It was, it's a jet ski. Never mind. I thought it was a red bull. Small, back of a trailer. I was like, wait, wait a second. All right, let's get back on the bridge, and uh, let's get to the beginning of Key Largo. Oh, God, I, I can't. I got to show you guys this. I got to show you guys this. Remember when I was telling you while I was over there that there's a lot of homemade, you know, little houses or tiny houses on the water? This is for the people that don't want to basically pay taxes on their homes. I thought you, I thought you guys would find this real cute, cool. I just stopped on the side of the road right before I, I started heading back on the bridge. But look at this, guys. Look how cool this is. These are actual homes for individuals who, you know, said, hey, listen, I want to have a place to stay. I don't want to pay no taxes. And I want to live somewhere where no one bothers me. Look at this little house over here in the backdrop. And there's just tons of them. What do we have back there? I wouldn't be surprised if some of these are Airbnbs, guys. I would not be surprised if some of them are Airbnbs. But, all right. All right, let's get going. Let's get back. There's a, there's a ton of them, guys. There's a ton of them here. But we got to get back on the road because I, I want to still show you guys what we got going on. All right, so heading that way, we're getting to the beginning of Key Largo. So remember how I said in, when, I, when we started this video, the last stop over there in uh, Florida City was the last place you can get gasoline? Well, this is the beginning of Key Largo and we just passed the Bridge of Gilberts. And this is the last point where you can go ahead and get gas heading back to Miami. So if you have questionable gasoline, guys, this is where you're gonna stop at this Circle K, okay? Don't risk it, because trust me, there is nothing else you can get gas from. And there is the sign, welcome to Key Largo. All right, as soon as you come in, we just passed the bridge, guys. I just took you to the Circle K, and that's the visitor center here in Key Largo. And uh, there's a bunch of places now along this strip. I would highly recommend that you follow the, you know, the, the speed zone, the speed limit. Okay, so right now we're at a 45. Trust me, guys. Look, this guy to the right, he's going to get burned. Burned, like burned. Um, we got the visitor center there. There's a lot of scuba places, and you're also going to see a lot of boat uh, dealers along the way while you're heading over there. So check out for some good deals. But we're going to stop real quick at a couple places here in Key Largo so you can see how cool it is. Look, look. What was I just mentioning, guys? What was I just meant mentioning? Go the speed limit. Especially if people from Miami, they, they, they're like sitting ducks coming through here. Look at this guy. This guy got burnt. Guys, go the speed limit. When you're there in uh, Monroe County, you don't play around, bro. If they say uh, it's 45, you go 44. And if you go 46, woo! Here is Caribbean Club. I launch out of here a lot. Uh... Let me see if this guy's super cool. He's always su super cool. What's up, boss? How you doing? I was here the other day launching. I'm doing a YouTube video showing them Caribbean Club. Can I take, take a quick uh, roundabout so I can show them? Sure. How's everything over here? Any fish coming out or what? I, no one's come out yet. Nobody's come out? Yeah. I, I guess I'll get them on the water. Guys, this is the world famous Caribbean Club. Are you, are your lot, is your lot full? Yeah. Completely, huh? Everybody from Miami's over here. Yeah, because they got the homestead, I guess, under construction. Bars are there, ramped down. There. Yeah, homestead. Yeah, homestead is, is uh, closed. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and show you guys Caribbean. Thank you so much, boss. So this is, like I said, this is a private ramp. And 
sorry for the, the shaky camera guys but I, I do want to show you guys this because it's a place where I launch out of when I come to the Keys all the time um, because first of all if you come in you want to have a nice burger maybe drink a beer it's a cool place to do it all right so it's ten dollars to launch and it's ten dollars to park here's the ramp okay that's the ramp beautiful beautiful sunsets here guys when I'm telling you beautiful sunsets really really nice all right um, so I would encourage you if you're gonna come come around that time so you can see a beautiful sunset all right let's go this guy's wearing a Clorox bottle for a mask <laughs> you gotta be kidding me bro in Key Largo look you got a West Marine here but but we got to make sure we take care of the ladies and you ladies are going to want to stop at Shell World. Okay, there's going to be a bunch of places, but where you're going to want to stop is Shell World. And uh, I'll show you it. It's, it's coming up ahead a little bit, uh, a little further along. And uh, we'll show you guys where you can kind of get gifts and, you know, things to send back to people that know you're having a great time without them. There's a million little hole in the wall places, guys, you can stop along the way in the Keys. You know, you can see a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of places to eat. Uh, as a local, I'm telling you where myself and many other locals in South Florida kind of go. And it's not that Lover's XX boutique here to the right. With the red letters, oh God! Not there, guys, anywhere but there. You know, well, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe if you, that's your thing, you know? And up here to the left is where I'm telling you, you ladies want to tell your significant other to stop so you guys can go ahead and uh, get gifts and uh, little local things. And this is Shell World. See this? All this area right here is Shell World. They have uh, souvenirs. It's a big area. You know, you can find a bunch of stuff. So if you want to go ahead and talk to your friends and family and, you know, bring them back something so they can be happy while you had the best time ever here in the Keys, stop there. Good area. A lot of things, big and uh, local things, unique. So take a look at that area. Rain Barrel Art and Shops. Another spot where you guys can come. All right. Which is the world famous lobster. Now, a couple years ago, down this road, actually, I'll show you guys. Okay, that's the world famous lobster, guys. They have arts and crafts and things like that and gifts and souvenirs. It's kind of cool. Now, HDTV, which is that home design network, they gave away a dream house and it was over here. So let's go ahead and uh, show you which is... Uh, the house is, I hope I'm in the right area before I get shot. What are you doing out here? Oh God. I, I'm almost certain it used to be back here, guys. So, uh, oh well, maybe not. We're getting to my final destination, guys, for this. I'm not gonna go further up than, further down, in other words, than what I am gonna go right now. So, here are, probably the coolest places for a lot of the boats in this area to hang out so there's a very very popular uh, sandbar coming up and we also have the world famous fishing area here in island Morada called bud and mary's marina um, famous uh youtube fisherman sword uh, sword fisherman uh, nick stanzik uh, and his family are i mean they have a huge background in fishing um, all the captains in that marina, guys, will put you on some massive fish. You want to go fishing, go out of Bud and Mary's. Doesn't matter who you get. Um, here to your left, if you're with kids and all that stuff, we're about to get to, to a couple places. Theater of the Sea, this is basically a mar marine mammal park. Um, very good, fun uh, for kids and smaller kids. Here is what we used to call the world famous Tiki Bar. And now I think it's called the Postcard Inn. And this place is incredible, guys. It's beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and check it out today. Because the Tiki Bar is here. It's still here. Guys, This I mean, this was the spot. When I was growing up, this was the spot. A um, couple hurricanes uh, damaged it. But it's still a fantastic area to be at. 
So we're going to go ahead and explore a little bit down here. And maybe, maybe, just maybe we can go ahead and get some footage of some cool boats. So let's see what we got going on over here, guys. Oh my goodness, we made it. Guys, I have never filmed from here. I've hung out here a thousand times. And we are here at the most popular sandbar slash channel there is in the Keys. So I want you guys to see, I'm not gonna be able to obviously get real, real close. It's kind of windy, so you guys might hear a little bit of wind as well. But this channel leads to the sandbars. So you, you have uh, sandbars on both sides. Very, very popular, guys. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised they're open, to be honest with you, with the Dorona. Oh, good Lord, Dorona. But the reason I wanted to come here is because yeah, I wanted you guys to see the boats that come in and out of the Keys. So it's a little different. I, I don't think uh, guys from Miami, per se, will come out here um, from Miami to come to the Santa Mar. It's a little far in the water. I'm not saying that it can't happen, because they will, if it's a special event or whatnot. But we have three sandbars in Miami. I've done plenty of videos on those sandbars, if you guys want to take a look at those. But this is a very cool sandbar to also hang out, guys. Nice and clean. And it's right here next to the Postcard Inn. So if, if you ever stay in the Keys, the Postcard Inn is that building over there. And what they can do there is uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they f either can rent you a, a kayak or something, and all you can do is kayak your happy ass over there, and you're golden. So let's go ahead and see some of the boats coming in and out of this channel. And uh, I don't know. Let's see if we see anything that we don't see in Miami. I mean, one of the things that we've been seeing a lot lately, especially after the 4th of July, I've seen a lot of uh, flags being represented on a lot of the boats lately. So, I, uh, there could be many things that are creating that. But I, I have noticed, guys, look how the wind, the wind is kind of ripping right now. So these guys uh, are coming out. That's a nice little Sea Pro coming out right here and uh, looks like these guys are gonna head to the sandbar right here and hang out I'm telling you I'm surprised how busy the sandbar is in Miami they're not letting you be at the sandbars so the police will come and basically ask you to leave. What is that? Oh my goodness. That is absolutely insane. Guys, are you even seeing what I'm seeing? I mean, smash a like for this. Wow. Good old E-Tex, man. So sorry to see them leave the market, man. Who knows, maybe they come back with a nice uh, electric engine that uh, revolutionizes the boating industry. Who knows? I think it could happen, guys. I really can. I've seen some of the technology in, uh, in some of the boat shows and stuff, and it's, it, might, it might be a, one of those game-changing things. It's starting to happen in the auto industry. Wow, this wind is blowing, man. I'm, you guys are gonna definitely hear some uh, some wind noise.
there he is guys let's look at him one last time before we get out of here Woo! what a beast that thing must be flying bro oh maybe he opens it up we'll see he's got a he's got a, a little sign right here that he can go ahead and open up maybe he wants to show off for the camera let's see let's see here Nala Marada guys oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah welcome to amazingness go on boom he's like nah i know the camera's on me bro i'm out of here look at this intrepid coming in oh we got a rib boat fwc baby in the house we got one passing through it's gonna be on camera in a second yeah baby there it is it looks like a brunswick seven or eight, seven meter maybe nice looking boats oh yeah he's gone gone that was pretty nuts what's this guy coming up to They say Key West, but we're in Island Marada, guys. That's just the brand. Let's see this guy launch. Another one just came in. Man, there's a lot of boats launching through here, so it's kind of nice. I get to see how uh, they come out of the hole. We got some little Yamahas. Let's see how this little Yamaha pulls out. Come on, Key West, we're watching you. We're watching you. Bow stays kind of low, planed out, nice. Pretty good. What do we have here? Slowing down. Guys, I'm looking both ways. I'm panning both ways. If I see a monster to the left, to my right, look, 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 look how I can see. Look at my, my field of view. I actually came under the bridge because I, I'm tired of baking for you guys. I bake all the time. And it's, bro, it's super hot. And I want you guys to see some of this traffic that's coming out of this sandbar. We'll hit up the sandbar one day. We'll go ahead and talk to the people at the sandbar and make a scene with them. With the Rona's out of here. I don't know. The Rona, I don't know. Rona, Rona's got a lot of friends. She's, I don't know. She's like a bad case of herpes, bro. Everybody's getting it. I mean, I, I wouldn't know that because... I've been burned in life, but I ain't never been hit with a herpes, bro. Sorry, everybody right now is licking their lips. Damn. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. You know, I've caught crabs in the ocean. I've done my dirt. I mean, I was, I was a promiscuous kid. <laughs> so, so what, whatever. We'll, we'll keep my... Uh, guys, I'm joking around. I'm, I'm obviously joking around. I'm, my wife is going to be like, you see, you can't even play around like that. Hey, guys, I do. I play around. I play around too much, you know? This is why I can't have a filter on YouTube. All right, let's check out this boat before, you know, <laughs> we start talking about VDs and we end up watching, you know, pimple videos here on YouTube. I don't know. This is... Hey, but how, how did you guys like? I mean, if you haven't seen... I, here's the thing. I'm still debating and we'll see, depending on this video. I did a video of me coming to the Keys. Uh, it might be in this video or if, you, if it's not in this video, then you guys can check it out in a follow-up video that I'm doing to show you guys kind of some cool points in the keys. Flats boat right here coming out. And we got some big boys also coming out guys. We're gonna see those. But uh, let's check this guy out. Let's see how he comes out. This is what we want to see right here. We want to see this right here, guys. Oh no! Oh, it's one of the charter boats that's going back to to uh, those docks over there. Maybe we can pass by those docks. I mean, 
You ain't got nothing else to do. Oh boy. Looks like I'm gonna have to change my spot, guys. The Rona is coming to me. It's a lot of people starting to come this way and you know, I've been pretty good about keeping my distance from people, so. So, either I'm gonna have to cough three or four times and be like, oh, I got a runny nose, shortness of breath, headache. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and this cough that doesn't go away. Flag carrying Trump supporters. Smash that like if you're a Trump supporter. Smash that like if you're a Biden supporter. Hey, smash that like if you're a Kanye supporter. There you go. You heard it here first, guys. Kanye is running for president. It's a nice boat. Very nice. And he likes a lot. Oh my god, I can only imagine the beatdown that's happening right now in my comment section. Really, Alfred? Really? <laughs> oh boy. Let me tell you something. Sometimes I don't even, you know, since I don't have a lot of time, but I listen to some, some read some of my comments. You know, I'm like, man, I see some of the things that you guys say, guys. Let me tell you guys. You guys, you guys make me smile every morning when I'm in the can. Every single morning. Do you think this guy's going to catch a fish or what? I don't know. He was on the other side at first. Um, I would wager. I would wager he's not going to catch anything. But we'll keep the camera close. I'll have my eye on him and we'll see what happens. See if he catches something. If he does, then you guys know where you can come out of. Ooh, what's that in the background? Ooh, it looks like a, a world cat maybe? Wait, 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 let's, let's see. Let, let, it, let it get close before we, we butcher it up. Now guys, look at this. Oh man, I, um, I was gonna show you something, but actually on the way over here, I saw a really big world cat dealer heading here to the Keys. Let's see if we can get past this little blue boat. They're here in tandem. The other guy's like, just put me in the shop, man, please, bro. You know, I've been cleaning this damn boat the whole weekend. All right, bro, you're in the shop, relax. All right, the World Cat looks like it's gonna go to, where is it gonna go? Looks like it's gonna go to Whale Harbor. Look at that second station. Pretty cool stuff. Positive energy. I giving. I giving it to you, man. I'm giving it to you. Positive energy. Oh, we got a tiki boat coming through, guys. You're gonna watch this. You're gonna love this. You guys are gonna love this. Get ready. We're gonna have a tiki boat coming through, guys. Making a scene, these people are down in South Florida making a scene. All right, get ready. Wait, just wait for it. Wait for it. And here we are. No, that's how you party, guys. Party barge, baby, in the house. 305-504-3457. Is that what I saw? I think I saw. It's a charter, baby. So check this out. These guys probably take you to the sandbar. How cool is that? Hey, free markets, baby. They figure themselves out. You want to go to the sandbar? You give me this much paper, I take you to a sandbar right now. You catch Rona free.
Here's the fork in the road, guys. Okay, that goes back. Remember, the Circle K is the last stop. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. All right, so that's the last place where you can put gas. Now, that road that I was just on goes to Miami also, but this one leads to Cartown, which eventually goes to Miami as well. But this is the back road. Back in the days when there was just one way in and one way out in, in the Keys, whenever there was an accident, you would they would the police would go ahead and make you bypass that area and you would have to come the long way, which is Card Sound. So we're gonna go to Card Sound. I'm gonna show you the bridge over there, and then I'm going to go to Alabama Jack. So let me show you that real quick and you guys will see that in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, here is what the Alabama Jacks conch fritter look like. Oh my goodness. That thing is amazing, guys. I'm not going to eat it in front of you because it, that kind of gets kind of weird. But that is absolute amazingness. So, my recommendation. Go back to the Keys. You know, on the way up through the scenic route, which is US-1. On the way back, end off your day at Alabama Jacks. And trust me, you will not be disappointed. And, guys, we have come full circle and uh, now you have an idea of the keys I mean I would venture to say there's locals that don't know about the road in Cartown see here guys last chance last chance saloon the saloon and guess what there's the racetrack that we were at in the beginning these are these other cars that are coming from US-1 and we're back now on US-1 and when we when we began the video we began right here right there at last stop bait and tackle the entrance to the keys guys now you know like a local how to navigate our city so 